Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Amy. Today I'm going to be making just your basic um, granny square. Yesterday I did a round granny square tutorial. But I'm going to be using this, um, it's called milk cotton but it's 100% acrylic. Where's my end? And this came from VIP Cross Stitch. They reached out to me and wanted me to do an unboxing so they sent me yarn and a hook set and the first time I used this was um, in the last baby blanket that I made I used part of it in the border it looks brighter on the screen but it's um, I think this was $2.79 and at that time they had a code anyone who ordered using my code could get 10% off but I got six skeins of this and a hook set and I will attach a link I don't know if that code would still work or not but I'll attach a link or card or whatever up into the screen showing that video if you missed it but this is kind of you know it goes different colors of pink and it's not as dark as it looks here on on screen but this is just going to be a regular granny square so I'm going to start with you can do the chain four and slip stitch into the first chain but I'm going to do the magic circle so I'm wrapping it have my tail there wrapping it crisscrossing it and going over and I'm using a three millimeter hook and I do not know the brand of this hook I got it from Amazon because I needed a three and a 3.5 for the baby blankets and I didn't have those so I'm gonna chain five which is gonna count as a double crochet and chain two one two, three, four, and five. Then I'm gonna pull the tail to close up this circle. And now I'm gonna put three double crochets, so chain over, go into the circle, grab the yarn, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two. Put two more. And then I'm going to chain two. This one right here is going to count, this chain five is going to count as your first double crochet, chain two. So now I'm going to put three more in the circle, three more double crochet. double crochet and I'm working over that tail two three and then I'm gonna chain two but this time because I've already got three sets of three three double crochet chain two three double crochet chain two three double crochet chain two but now I'm only going to put two 
because we've already got one here at the beginning. So two more double crochet. I think my thing's freezing up. And then we're not gonna chain two, but we're gonna pull on this tail to close it up, close up the little hole. And then we're gonna come to the third chain of this chain five and slip stitch into that. So just insert into that third chain, pull it through there. I need to make a little loop smaller. And then you can close up that circle more if you want to, or the ring. And then now for round two, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and then I'm going to put two double crochet in this chain two space, so yarn over, insert into that, because this is our corner. I'm snagged. Those corners are going to be like two double crochet, um, chain two, and then do two double crochet back into that same corner space. So I chain two, now I'm putting two more double crochet. And then we're going to put a double crochet. You may need to move this over because that can kind of hide those three stitches there, three double crochets. We're gonna put one double crochet into each one of those stitches. So there's one. Just make sure you pull back because that corner, those stitches can cover up that first double crochet. And then here's the third one. And then we're gonna put Two double crochet in this chain two space so two double crochet chain two and two double crochet ball winders I just but I just let it flop around now we're gonna put three a double crochet in each of these three stitches so again if you need to pull that back so you can see that put a double crochet in those three stitches so one two three and now we're back to another chain two space and we'll make another corner so that'll be two double crochet chain two two double crochet and then a, a double crochet in each of those three stitches and then corner two double crochet chain two two double crochet and then you're only going to have two stitches to go into there but I'll meet you back here at those last two stitches. Okay, so I've made it back to these last two stitches and again you may need to pull this back and then we're going to put a double crochet in each one of those two stitches. And that's the last one. 
and then we're going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three. So one, two, three. It can sometimes be hard to get your <clears throat> and just do a slip stitch. So grab the yarn, pull it through that one, and pull it through that one. Now at this point, you should be able to, you should count, have seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. And then we're just gonna repeat and you could make these as big as you wanted to you could keep going and keep going building on it to make you a whole blanket um, like a continuous granny square so we're starting out with chain three we'll always start out with chain three and then there's two stitches here <clears throat> excuse me so we're gonna put one double crochet in each of those two stitches so one in the first, and then one in the second, and then the corner is going to be the same. In this chain two corner space, two double crochets. Chain two. And two double crochets back in that same chain two space. And now we're going to put one double crochet in the next seven stitches. So again, pull that back so you can, so that one, the first one doesn't get hidden. And put one double crochet. the next seven stitches. And then at the end of this, we'll have 15 stitches on each side, I think. So there's five. I really like this yarn. I was surprised. Um, Again, it's VIP cross stitching. They reached out to me more than once and I thought all they had were, was cross stitch items, but they have craft items, they had yarn. Because at first I told them, I was like, I don't, because I don't cross stitch. But they are out of China and I think you get free shipping if your order is, I don't want to misquote. But again, I'll leave a um, card or link to that unboxing video. If you cross stitch, oh, they have a lot of cross stitching stuff. So now I'm gonna put, two, I'm at the corner, two double crochet. Chain two and two double crochet. And then we're back to let me do that one. Make sure you pull that back. Then put one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. And in this chain two space, put two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And then one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches and be sure you pull that back so you don't miss that first one. And then in the chain two space, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet and then we will have four stitches left and I'll meet you back there.
Okay, now I've made it back here and we have four. Pull that back. There are four stitches. Or, yeah. So one, two, and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of that grab the yarn pull it through and then at the end of this one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's 11. That's right. I don't know why I was thinking 15. So you should have 11 double crochets on each side. And then to continue this, like I said, you would just make it however large you want it. You're always going to do chain three. And in this case, it would be chain three. And then there would be one, two, three four stitches and then your corner which is uh, two double crochet chain two two double crochet and then you would do 11 double crochet and then into the next corner chain two or two double crochet chain two two double crochet just always remember to pull that back so you can get that first stitch and 11 double crochets and then your corner two double crochet chain two two double crochet 11 double crochet, 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet, and then in this instance it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that you would have left at the end, and I believe it's after that one, yeah, after that one, because each time you're going to have two additional stitches because of the new corner, or you know, your next corner, so the next one is what would be 15 because it'd be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So you'd have 15 if you did another row because this is just um, the third round. And you could make it however large you wanted to. You could make a continuous square and go around and make your entire blanket um, that way. You could choose whatever size. Some people like them this small. I don't think I could handle making this small of a granny square, but you could use, make a scrap buster to make little bitty granny squares, and they'll be real easy to join. But I'm going to just assume that we've made it however big we want to make it. So what I like to do is an invisible join. So let's say we've made this however big we want to, just following that same thing. You would chain three, you would go four double crochets, and just like I said, just going around doing the same thing to however big you want it, and then you're done. So I'm going to clip off and then just pull it through. And then with the invisible join, you take the tail and put it, or the end of the yarn, put it through a needle. And then instead of, because see that doesn't have a real visible, it's kind of sloppy because it's chain three. So we want to make it look like that. So you would go to the next stitch and go under both loops. Pull your yarn through and then come back over here where we ended and go into the back loop only and then what that does is and then pull on it it creates um, a normal looking stitch 
and then you would weave in your ends and weave this in. But yeah, you could make it as large as you want, as many as you want, different colors. Um, you could put a different color here and then the second round do a different color and go on and on, you know, just, there's various things you can do with, I love granny squares, but then you're like, oh, I gotta make so many more, but there it is. Like I said, weave in your ends. I don't know if I'm gonna do that because I may use this for something, may add a different color, so. There you go. So I hope you all have a good day and I hope everybody's staying cool and I will see you in the next video.